2022 года. Рост 176 сантиметров, вес 66,3 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 8 побед, 3 поражения. И его профилирующая дисциплина боевая самба. Дамы и господа, из Москвы Россия, фото и вся Валентинец. Розовые красные лутлетки. Вальцу 25 лет, рост 177 сантиметров. Его вес 66,25 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 9 побед при двух поражениях. И его синий борьба. Дамы и господа, он из Грозного Россия. Приветствуйте, Яхти Байтовное. Рэйди Бейдинка, Вита Корнеев. Виктор Каниев will take charge of this featherweight contest. We look at the tail of the tape there. Similar experience, 25 years of age, Medi Badulayev, 22 Ukrainian via Moscow. Ilya Volinets, Volinets in the blue corner, Medi Badulayev in the red with the gold shorts. Badulayev looks in fantastic shape. Like I said, he went away a, a boy and has come back a man. Really has filled out into his frame at 25 years of age. Both looking in very good shape, as you come to expect at this sort of level of competition. They're both a little bit tentative here. You can feel a little bit of stress between the two. Badalayev making his return to ACA. Volinets making his debut. Oh, look at the shot from outside. That looked like it was far too far away to uh, to go in, especially with no setup. But Badalayev makes it work. No, that was a beautiful shot. I mean, like I say, it was a foul, but he managed to be one of the people who got a grip of him. Uh, and then, like, you feel it. Look at this sort of strength there. Whoa. Belly to belly suplex, which is a very hard move to do, made it look effortless. Shows a sort of strength from him. And we often talk about the, the skill sets from certain regions and that Chechen background, the wrestling that is uh, just second nature to their young men, their athletes. When you look at that sort of move, though, you, you think about a lot of power, but it is does take a lot of power, but there's so much technique involved. It's such a high-level move. To land it also, to, not only just land it, to land it with a bit, bit of control, because sometimes it's such a big takedown, it creates a little bit of space, but he did a great job just to hold on to Ilya. Now he's got him pressed up against the cage here. Yeah, using pressure right in front of his corner there as well. Yeah, again, doing the same sort of thing when he's opted to go into the guards. He's trying to go over the back. This is how he does it. He sets this up beautifully. That arm is under the armpit, so he's, he's got the grip there. I don't is that, can you finish it from there, Brad? I can't really see this angle. Because he's at his left hand is under the armpit, so he's squeezing on that, but unless it's a, a, a bone, a, what do you call it? The, uh, no, the bone going across the neck. There's quite a bit of space. I can't really see that angle. Yeah, not, yeah he's no giving thumbs up as well. I see he has some sort of move that well, you know, it's one of those ones you can finish some Sphinx from the gym and you just don't know about. And that's the, that's the beauty of this sport, you know, like there's not certain rules, I mean there are certain rules, don't get me wrong, but, but people invent new stuff yeah, all the time. The game keeps evolving, keep changing. It's not like traditional martial arts where someone does the same sort of kata is passed down over generations, generations. This mixed martial arts, you have the freedom to explore new techniques. New ways to, to destroy other human beings. And Medi Badalayev right now is riding the back so well. Volinets. Short shots. A little warning by the back of the head there from Viktor Karniev. Yeah, he's got, he's got his back, but he's also got body triangles. So it's very hard to get sh shook off. You've got to think Ilya's got to try and get himself to the, the cage a little bit and try and stand up. At the moment, he's just defending. It's not really devastating strikes where you're going to get TKO'd or anything, but it's just it's the strikes oh. where you get here to and set up this Renicky joke. That's right around the face, but you can see he's got, he's got one of those little squeeze that can actually break your jaw, to be honest. Still fresh and strong in this first yeah, round. He's smothering him with the glove. He's getting all the old school tricks out here. <laughs> Obviously, he's picked up from the gym. All the nasty sort of moves you don't really do to your training partners. Oh, he's yeah. trying to feed that through now, Brad. This could be it. He's just, yeah, he's going really, you know, really good way of setting up. He's making it really uncomfortable. Look at this. Oh, palm to palm, arching that back. 
Yeah, and that was across the jaw again, yeah, right, that like mandible. He's, he's just making him really uncomfortable. He's like, obviously, Elia is very, very tough, and he's not going to tap to some of that sort of stuff, but he just gets you frustrated sometimes. Look, it's so hard to get out of this body triangle from the back, and he's just getting beaten up a little bit. You get frustrated. And Mehdi's just waiting for that one little mistake where he, he's going to pounce on it. Oh, and again. He's just, here he's not under the neck, he's across the jaw. It's just, like I say, making it come. But the only thing, maybe he's got to be careful out there, he doesn't burn his arms out. Yes, but, oh, a nice little escape there, almost from Volley Nets, but look at the reaction, look at the way. Yeah, that was great. Instinctive. Yeah, that was great top grade in there by Medi. Very, very good hits, very good understanding of bullies and balance. Strong, strong opening first round. All set up from that shot, Brad, which when you, were, if you are looking at it, it looked like he'd gone too far out, didn't really set it up, but somehow made it work. But you kind of see, you see from these sort of, these sort of styles and fights, fights for Grozny, they just need to get a piece of something. Uh, and you, you, it's hard to explain it, but when you feel it, feel it, you're like, that's not very good shot. You're looking back at the action here, this is the beautiful belly to belly suplex. And look, I just noticed it there when he'd done it. He actually had the Dagestani handcuff as well at the same time. This is where he had the back control in, and, and unfortunately for Ilya, he couldn't really get out of this position. He needed it for one split second where then he ended up getting mounted. It's a very, very dominant round. Could possibly say a 10-8 as well if there's a little bit more damage. But this is it. Now we're going into round number two. How is Medi's arms after trying to do those sort of chokes? How soon do you reckon he's going to go for this takedown? And can Ilya make him pay for it? It's going to be very interesting to see. We shall see. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. Oh. Round, round two. Oh. Off we go. Medi Badulayev in the red corner. We've got yeah. Ilya Volinets in the blue. And let's see how long it takes Medi Badalayev to shoot. I honestly don't think that long. There you go. Whoa. But Ilya is very ready, ready for him. Spooled really well, but you just, like you say, it comes to that sort of chain wrestling where he gets spooled down, he manages to still get hold of him, push him to the cage, get to the back, and now he's here, he's going to pull him down. Good whizzer. It's a very good wrestling exchange from both young men. Oh, and look at that, just staying. Groves, but you can see the urgency from Volinets. He knows he cannot give up that position again. Yeah, he doesn't want to get down to the mat. But like I say, he's just beautiful. Oh, drop and roll, look at that. He doesn't mind. He, I, I safely say he's in no danger of getting guillotine, those sort of guys in this position all the time. Don't mind giving up their neck. Again, you talked about it, the, the technique, the awareness. Such high level grappling coming out of Grozny. All those Caucasus regions. Oh, look at the way he took the back there. Slick, a bit high up. He is very high. This is the thing that Ilya is one of those ones he's got. He's doing the right thing. He, he's got to keep moving. But sometimes when you jump out the fire, out of the frying pan, so you land it straight into the fire, which he's done here. But he's doing the right thing. So he, he can't stay there. But now he's in this back position where he was for a long, long time within that round. He's got to realize in a three round fight, he can't let another round slip. But if doing that, he's going to definitely create a bit more spaces and opportunities to maybe get submitted. Oh, Medi now Ooh. again. Look at the arch on the back here. It's a lot deeper. I can't really see from his position. Oh, that's under now. That's under the chin. Look that's at it. that Ilya Polinets trying to survive. Medi Badulayev looking for the finish here. He, he could go out. Yeah, he could out. go out. He's, out. he's, out. he's tapping. He's out. Wow. Medi Badulayev, round two, takes the back again. This time gets it done with the rear naked choke. That is an impressive performance for that young man. We were second by the cherry here, getting the hit back at the ACA. Did not let it slip, and that's what you say. He, was, he didn't tap, he was out. Stunning finish, and you said all they have to do is get a bite of you in those wrestling realms, and he did exactly that. There was some heavy resistance coming from Volinets. He did very well. 
Yeah, going to Valens, it wasn't a case of it was bad defense. He spun beautifully, stuffed it like literally 90%, but it was that 10% where these saw level of fires, uh, Brian, can still make you pay and turn, turn something into a great opportunity to get something and then get him back down to the mat, get to the back where he wants to be, uh, and then manage to sink in a lovely rear naked choke. So, Mehdi Badalayev talking to our vice president and our uh, matchmaker through the cage. But let's make it official. Uh,